press the accelerator. It's a standard, so I put it in gear, press the accelerator. The revs go woo woo, but the car does not go woo woo, which I will tell you is not good. As you may know, I am preparing to go on a road trip across the United States in about a month now. And I was just at my car a couple days ago and it's been acting a little, acting up a little. Basically the issue is that I press the accelerator, it's a standard, so I put it in gear, press the accelerator, the revs go woo woo, but the car does not go woo woo. It goes, it just goes like slow. And there's like very little acceleration when I press the acceleration pedal, which I will tell you is not good. It could be transmission problem, fluid or something like that, the transmission not working, which could be a transition replacement needed or something else, who knows. Or it could be something more simple, like the air filter is not doing its job or the air intake's not doing its job, hopefully. The worst case scenario would be that it's a problem with the head gasket, which with 2000s Subarus is an issue that I've read up and it is common. And that is a big repair, almost, well, I think $2,000, which is approximately more than the car is worth at this point. So I'm in a little bit of a pickle. I have an appointment on Friday. It's early in the morning and today is the day that I take my car to the garage to see if my road trip's completely fucked up or if I still have hope of making this car work well again. To get it checked. Um, hopefully by somebody who's an honest person uh, because I don't know that much about cars. So we'll see. But this is supposed to be my home for the whole month of May while I go across the country and it's supposed to drive me there. So what do I do? I would say I have a few options. One, cancel my trip in, oh, well, if the car doesn't work, I have a few options. Cancel my trip entirely, fly home. That's option one. Uh, Cause I'm gonna be in BC in the summer. So I have to get home somehow. This trip was supposed to be that way. Option two, I can sell my car for parts or sell it with the intention that somebody else will do the fix on it, which would probably end up selling it for a low price, obviously, and then get another car to drive across. Um, depending on what I could get for the car, it might be able to result in another car, but it might be a shitty car or a worse car. There's one on Facebook Marketplace that looks good at a fairly cheap price and they're trying to sell it fairly quickly. Um, that's option two. Or option three, you get it fixed at a price and you say it's worth it because I get to do this trip and the car will be reliable, hopefully, because it's been reliable for the last six years, generally, um, other than the brake replacement last year. It's been reliable for six years, so hopefully if I get this fixed, then it'll be reliable for another six years or whatever. Hopefully, I mean, that's very hopeful. Um, but then you have to put that upfront cost in get it fixed. 
but maybe you put that upfront cost into a different car if you sell and then you do the thing. It's a really tough decision. So I really want to do this trip. I would actually be very sad because I put a lot of planning and effort into this trip and getting things ready. So if I can't take this trip, I'd be very, very disappointed. Very disappointed. But it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Those are my options. I will probably continue in this video with other clips of the future. Praying. Well, not because I'm not religious, but spiritually. Crossing fingers. Holding thumbs. Nothing serious. Nothing serious. Nothing serious. Because if the oil has liquid in it, then it's likely a head gasket issue. And that is the worst possible situation. I just pulled out of the parking garage and problem still persists. So I'm going to, I just called actually, I just called the CAA tow service and they're going to arrive in like an hour <sighs> take me to the garage hopefully good news praying for no blown head gasket come on the oil looked like normal but i'm gonna believe that it's because the head gasket is fine <sighs> might be a delusion but a little bit of delusion is always good i think Maybe. Let's pretend. I'm currently waiting on the towing truck. I dropped the car at the service. <laughs> the auto center at the Canadian Tire. And uh, now we wait. The Canadian tire got back to me and it's a problem with the transmission. And it's probably the second or third on the list of the worst things that could happen. I need to replace my whole clutch. So not the whole transmission, but the whole clutch. So it's gonna be like a thousand dollars. That's not great but not the worst. It is something that we can do. And the clutches on these cars or on all cars have lifespans and you know you're gonna have to change them if you wanna keep an old car going. So if I get this done, then it'll last the same amount of time as it did last time. So that's good. So I'm planning on not getting the thing done at the Canadian Tire because they were quoting me a number way higher than um, some other places I called. So I'm going to go to one of those other places it's Easter weekend, so I can't get it done until Tuesday, but um, get it done Tuesday, probably get the car back Wednesday next week, um, and then hopefully that's the only issue, and we can have a good, safe trip without any more technical things going wrong. Now next time I have a problem, I'm gonna have to clip me saying that. 
It's probably a bad omen. It's not as bad as we thought, so there's that. We're, we're happy about that. 